This week on Rally Max TV, we're back in the black stuff as we leave the forests and hit the roads of County Meath. Tarmac is a completely different kettle of fish from gravel, and although the big drifts aren't as common, still doesn't stop them doing it in Tarmac, with a two-wheel drive battle as always something to watch. This week we follow the 2004 Castle Hellfire Rally. Last year's winner Pat Donegan leads off the capacity entry, but will have his work cut out if he's to repeat his victory this time around. We move to the centre of Ireland this week to Old Castle. Surrounded by lakes and mountainous terrain, makes for good rallying, but the twisty winding roads as challenging as ever. 9.9 miles of bumpy fast tarmac roads await, with tricky sections just waiting to catch out the unwary. And first on to it, Pat Donegan and Damien Garvey lead off the field into the opening test. The Mark II is flying and sets out to make it two wins on the trot, but with grip an obvious issue in this opening stage, they ply on. And crest bump, 80, crest bump, 150, slippy continue, shiny car, crest bump, into small dip, 60. Approaching the end of the stage, they are flat out down this straight and hit the jump hard, sending the Ford several feet into the air. Watch them jumps. But with no traction, they pay a flying visit to the scenery and unable to get back out, are forced to retire. Next on the road, Sean and Claire Gallagher take the reins from the Mark II and not only are first to finish the stage, but finish the stage first, taking a four-second lead. Fighting for a place in the top two last year, Paul and James McCann return in 2004. The Oscar Cosworth settles in in the opening test, ninth fastest to place in the top ten. Enda Keenan as Laura Moffat alongside in this occasion and close in the Oscar Cosworth are one and a half seconds adrift in tenth place, leading class 14. As they approach the oily conditions in the square right, they pass the stricken Pat Donegan and try not to go off themselves. But off to a flying start, Dominic Locker and Michael Courtney signal their intentions early. Third fastest in stage one to take a hold of the top three position and hold second in group N. Gart McCull and Arthur Cairns are just shy of the top ten on the stage, but fight their way into the top three of class 13. But taking the lead of class 13 with both hands, Ollie O'Reilly is fastest in class in the opening test. He and Martin Cahill take seventh overall, with their sights set on sixth. Head to head with Garrett McCullough, Michael Kern and Mark McNally are a mere six tenths of a second adrift on the first stage of the day, gearing up for a battle in the fringes of the top ten. Charging to the higher end of the top ten, Paul McEnroe and Alan Keena find the opening stage slippy, but it doesn't hinder them too much. Second fastest to lie four seconds off the lead. Joe Kern and Martin McGarry are having an eventful day. With a slippery surface on the stage, the Subaru overshoots in the opening test, spinning at the hairpin, then drops them down to fifth. Clipping the back of Joe in the practice run, Martin Brady and Barry Sheridan slither through stage one and emerge just ahead of Joe, fourth overall. Basil Stevenson and Trevor Colbert are on the pace in stage one, fighting their way into the top six, but of Ollie O'Reilly keeping them honest. Andrew Brown and Theresa Mulvaney are in the wars in stage one, with their car stuck in third gear twice in the stage. A spin cost them time, but they are still in the hunt in eighth. Two left over gravel and tight four right over gravel. 60. Double caution, crest bump into six right. Six right. Six right, 80. A six left over small crest, 40. Double caution, crest jump into hairpin left over gravel. But could have been higher with this costly spin dropping them to that eighth place. Having grip issues in stage one, John O'Carter and Lorcan Kennedy feel they're on the wrong tyres, with a wayward Mark II slipping out of the top 20, but they won't rest there. Hitting trouble, James and Joe Cassidy's first outing in the Mark II is fraught in stage one. With the coil packing in, they just make it to the finish, but are out of contention. Five left, five left, and four right up a bad one bridge, 40 bad, bad. One bridge, 40. Two right of a crest jump, Titans, Titans. 40 again, four left opens into two left long. Into two left long. Into one left long over jump bridge, over jump bridge, into right. Into right, 41 right, 
60 over bumps, 60 over bumps, 3 right over jump, 3 right over jump, over jump. Taking the Class 9 lead in Stage 1, Andrew Lang finds his car too low for these bumpy stages and intent on resolving that at service aims to extend that advantage. 60 out of it, 60 out of it and a one right, oh man well done, one right, small crest 80, 80 right over small crest jump 40 into a two left, cars is two left long into a four right, a four right and a left over crest and a two right over bumps and a two left and then you come into a chicane. Two right, two left and then a chicane. Good man. Then a chicane. David and Jerry Devereaux battled their way through the opening stage of the day. And with these slippy conditions, the father-son partnership is working well, leading class and one. Two right, two left, into a chicane. Two right, two left, chicane. Sixty. One right. Forty turn square right. Slippy. Shiny towel. Shiny towel. One hundred. One hundred. Fighting against the tyre gamble in stage one, Gene Callan and Sean Brunton clip around Bale in one of the chicanes. Are now fourth in class twelve, but will change tyres at service. Right. right, you have sixty to the crest and the six right. You're into the six right straight away. Over the crest, you're into the six right straight away. You're very to a six left small crest. Six left, right, you're 40 to double crest and jump and sudden turn, hairpin left. You're sudden turn and hairpin left. Right, that's the great stuff. Right, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it. Crest 80, crest and jump 150. Taking class two by the scruff of the neck straight off the mark, Peter Wilson and Chris Farley open a 30 second advantage and take 17th overall. Hot in their tail, Columba Heena and Declan Gallagher shoot straight into the lead of class 11. Only 1.3 seconds off Peter are intent on closing that gap. And taking the class 12 lead in the first stage, Daniel Conahan and Liam McLaughlin join the battle with Columba and Peter, only four seconds back from the Corolla. In Class 6, Shane Feely and Jim McGrath battle through the greasy stage to take a 10 second lead and are just outside the top 20 after Stage 1. Kieran and Alan Tweed of Class 8 sewn up in the opening stage of the day and battling with Gene Callant for overall position in Stage 1 are narrowly in front by 2.9 seconds. Not far behind them, Declan and Sean O'Toole are fastest in Class 10, taking an early 1.8 second lead with their sights set on catching the Subaru. Three seconds ahead of John on stage one, Shane O'Rourke and Fred Holmes are quickest out of the blocks in class five, carving out a 20 second advantage. But not as far behind, Gart and Kevin McMonagall are tight on the heels of the Suzuki in the opening test, within 1.2 seconds as they stretch out a 24 second class three lead. And with almost a minute in hand in class seven, Stephen Kellett and Thomas Boylan storm to the top of the class table in stage one, leading by 52 seconds.